Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to work with charts in VBA in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have some dummy data for four quarters and the sales values in those four quarters. Let's say this is the data for 2015. And in this video I will show you how to create a chart using this data and using VBA code. So we would plot this data in various types of charts in Excel and then we would see how to use a macro recorder for charting and how to read those uh, codes and how to edit those codes. And in the end we would also see how to loop through different charts. So let's say we have three, four different charts. How we can loop through those charts and change uh, their properties, maybe let's say the title or the color. So let's get started. Let me press Alt F11. This opens the VB editor here. I would insert a module. And here let's say I would say the sub is add chart. And now in Excel, there are two kinds of charts. The first is a chart sheet. So if I right click here, go to insert, you would see there is something called as a chart sheet. A chart sheet holds one chart and then you can work with that chart in the similar way you work with other charts in the worksheet, which are objects. So you can change the title, you can change everything. And those chart sheets are meant to hold just one chart. The other kind of charts are embedded objects here in the worksheet and they are almost like shapes. So you can uh, resize those charts, you can put it anywhere and you can treat it like shapes. So let's first see what how we can add a chart sheet. To do that I would type charts.add and this single line would add a chart sheet here. Let's say if I click and run this code, you can see that it has added a chart sheet, which is chart one, and it has plotted the sales data that we have here. So one single line of code, and then you can write other lines to edit this chart. Uh, but in this uh, video, I would focus on the embedded charts. So in this case, let me remove this line and let me first declare an object variable. I would say dot dim CHT as shape. Now the reason I'm doing this is because charts, embedded charts in Excel are a part of shape object and therefore we would first have to declare, uh, declare a variable which is of the shape type and then I would say set CHT is equal to active sheet dot shapes dot add chart and let's run this code and I'll talk about this these lines later. Let's first run this and as soon as I run this code here you can see we have a chart inserted. This chart has already taken the data from here but let me delete it. Let me select somewhere else and run this code again. I would click anywhere in between this code, run it and it enters an empty space here which is uh, a chart but nothing has been plotted on it. Now let's go back here to the code and let's talk about this line here. The first thing that we did is we declared an object variable as shape and then we said in active sheet dot shapes dot add chart to since shapes would have many other things as well. If I put a period here and press okay so I, it's not showing the IntelliSense list but a shape would have many different things so for example here if you go to insert these are all shapes so shapes has charts as well as many other things in shapes we added a chart but we had used add chart to here which means that it would add a chart now this add chart to here is specific to Excel 2013 this would not work in 2010 if you try and run this code in 2010 or prior versions this would not work this works specifically in 2013 because this add chart to has been enhanced in 2013 there are many more uh, arguments that it takes as compared to add chart so let's do one thing. Let's select this data. I would press Alt F11 and here I would run this code and see what happens. It gives me this chart. It has the chart title. It has this formatting. Let me put this aside and then I would go back and I would remove chart this uh, this number two. And now let's run this code now. When I run this, it adds another chart and you can see the difference here. These are similar chart but it looks a bit different. There are some minor differences here. Uh, the 
text here, it's bold, these grid lines are uh, in dark color as compared to this chart. So you can see that there is a difference and if you're working with 2010 or prior versions, I suggest you go with add chart instead of add chart 2. Now we have set this object variable to the chart which gets added. So let me delete these charts as well and let's write some code to change something with that chart. So in this case I would use the with uh, statement and I would say with chart chd dot chart. So what we have done is this is a shape object within shape we're saying with chd dot chart change something. As soon as I press a period you can see these are all the properties and methods that we can work with. So let's say I am working with the chart type and here I say chart type is equal to and I can select any of these chart types. Let's say Excel 3D area and here I come and I say end with. Now let's see what happens when I run this code and let me run this code one step at a time. I would press F8. Here we have set chart is equal to this. When I execute this line it would add a chart here. When I do this you can see it adds a default chart which is uh, a column chart. And now when I run this line here this becomes an area chart. So what you can do is there are various elements in a chart. There are axis, there are these series, there is this title, there are uh, the position of the chart. Everything can be changed through these codes here and what you can do is if I come here and I type let's say chart you can see that there are so many objects, so many properties that can be changed. So let's say I'm talking about chart title and here I can say chart title dot text. Now within chart title there are many other properties and uh, methods. In this case I'm changing the text property and I say let's say this is new chart and now when I run this code as of now there is no chart here when I run this code see what happens it inserts an area chart and this becomes the new chart the title is new chart. Similarly you can play around with this let's say I want to change uh, the chart type to something else. So I would come here I would say Excel and let's say I'm looking for maybe a pie chart and when I run this code you can see that it has inserted a pie with this title. So this is how you can add charts to it and then there are various properties and methods uh, of that chart that you can change. So this is a simple code that would do it. If you're working with Excel 2010 or prior version make sure you're not using add chart 2 rather you're using add chart method. Now what if you have to go through various chart types. So let's say in this case I have this chart, I have this chart and let me also insert a, a column chart. So let me come here modify or let me just delete this line it would insert a column chart. So let me insert a column chart here. Now I have these three chart types. What if I want to loop through these charts? So what if I want to go through these charts one by one and then I want to change uh, let's say the chart title. So here I want to call this chart 1, chart 2 and then chart 3. So to do that let's go back and here I would create another subroutine. Let me uh, call this chart loop. And now here again I would do the same thing. I would make CHT as shapes or you can also go for chart objects and in this case if I type chart objects it's this one chart object what this would do is it understands that CHT either you can go with shape or you can go with chart object and here we would say dim counter as long so I'm declaring a variable here because we would be using a loop we would be going through each chart and then here I can say for each CHT in active sheet dot chart objects and then we would run the counter here let's say next CHT and here we would run the counter we would say counter is equal to counter plus one and then here we would say CHT dot and then we would specify because we said it was chart object and then we would say this is chart and then we would say chart title. So here we would select chart title dot text and this would be chart let's put this within double quotes ampersand counter. 
So what we are doing here is we are saying that CHT is a charred object and now uh, don't get confused with it. Uh, you can either use a shape or you can use a charred object. The idea is that this is uh, an object here which which floats over the worksheet. So you cannot directly call it a chart. A chart within VBA would refer to a chart sheet here. Then we have a count uh, a counter here which is a long type and then we go through each sheet we say each sheet in active sheet dot chart objects counter is equal to counter plus one this would become one and then it goes through the first chart it becomes chart one then it goes through the second chart that becomes chart two let me introduce a space here and let's run through it one chart uh, at a time so let me bring it here to the right and let's go through it so I would press F8. When I come here, it's going through the loop. You can see that the counter here is zero. When I go here, counter becomes one and this changes, it becomes chart one. Similarly, when I press this again, this changes, it becomes chart two and then it becomes chart three and then it goes out. So there were three objects and it loops through all these three charts and it changes the chart title. Similarly, if you have various formats that you need to apply, so let's say uh, you have uh, these axes or you have grid lines and you have uh, say multiple charts on your worksheet or even in the workbook and you want to quickly loop through those and remove uh, these grid lines, you can do this quickly by using this loop counter. So this is how you can add a new chart and you can go through each, each of these charts within the worksheet. Now let's uh, do something else. Let me record a macro that would add a chart. So let me come to this sheet here and let me copy paste this data as well and I'll show you from scratch how to record this macro and then how to read it. So let me go to the developer tab and here I would click on record macro. So I click on record macro uh, let's say the name is add chart macro and now it has started recording I would go to insert and within insert I would insert let's say this stack clustered column chart and I go back to the developer tab and I stop recording so what I did is was a simple thing I already had this selected I just inserted this chart and I came out of the macro. Now let's let me press Alt F11 to go into the edit mode uh, VB editor and here within module 2 I have this line and let's go through this line let me delete these comments here and here it says active sheet dot shapes dot add chart 2 and within add chart 2 it has all these things it has 201 which is the style type then it has column cl cluster chart it selects it and then with the selection with the active chart it sets the source data to this now what you can do is if you are working with uh, charts and you do, do not know what kind of property what is the name of the property or how to do stuff then you can use macro recorder so let's say uh, I have select this cell I again go back to macro recorder and I say this name is modify chart and now I come here I select this I would go here and I would name this sales 2015 then I come to these grid lines I delete it I would say probably come here I would change the fill to orange color and then I go back and I stop recording now let me go back again I would press Alt F11 and here you can see what we get. We get such a huge code and uh, this is where you would find a lot of help. So in this case if I go through this again you can see it says we have activated this chart and then we changed we first selected the chart title then we changed the chart title and then we did a lot of stuff. We change this and then selection dot format then text format and these are all additional lines that you may not need but it does give you an idea that in case you need to change the chart title then you need to use this line you need to first ha select the chart or refer to the chart and then go for chart title dot text and then change it similarly if you want to let's say change uh, the color then you want to come here and this is selection dot format dot fill and then you need to change these properties in this case uh, we simil we just changed the uh, four color dot object theme color but if you want to change other properties as well you can do it so the idea here is that there are many many objects within a chart and there are many elements if you're working with any of the element and you want to 
specifically change something using VBA coding, you can use Macro Recorder. Another thing that you can do is you can use the object library, object browser here. So let's say I select Excel and I want to change the chart title. Then I can simply type chart title and when I do this it shows me this thing here I come here and I can see what all members of the chart title are there I can go through it and I would know that there is something called as text and that this can ring a bell that I need to change the text part and it says text as string so you can use chart title dot text is equal to whatever text you want to put it there similarly if you want to change the position or something if you want to say change the legend maybe say the position of legend then you can simply come here in legend and within legend you would know that there is something called as position and you can then change the excel legend position so you can say where you want to post position your chart legend similarly you can work with a lot of elements here in this chart uh, make use of the object browser make use of the microsoft excel help and obviously do make use of uh, the macro recorder because it will guide you in reaching where you want to by showing you those li those lines that are doing the magic so that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.